Hello everyone, this is King Kony LT. This video, I will tell you our development news of the new product. Uh, this is our new design, the logical controller, named KC868COLB. The old version is COL. This version we called uh, as the letter the B. The B means the both, because it both have the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet. Now this time, uh, the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet can work at the same time. Uh, you can see the hardware. We can also see the uh, digital input and the analog input for 16 channel and 6 channel, total 32 channel. And uh, this is IS485 interface. And uh, this is temperature uh, sensor. And IS232 for relay board and the switch terminal board and the voice module. And this is 12 volt output for sensor to use. And this is power in, it's also DC 12 voltage. So use this CLB, you can let one off network module connect to your own card server. This is a demo. Uh, I have made the video toys about how to create your own card server. So we can also see this sensor state on the mobile phone or on the laptop or on the any computer and Apple Mac. So you can let the logical control or the sensor data send to your own card server and see the any sensor data on your website uh, by phone or by PC or by any other device. And this is for the local network. You can run in the program on the Windows PC. So. Uh, if you let these two points, uh, these two work communication module, all work in local network, uh, you not need to uh, work with internet. So this Ethernet will support max six client, six client window, and this Wi-Fi max support five client window. So you can use totally eleven compute in your local network for monitoring the data of the sensor. Uh, if you not need the internet. Uh, so we can use many, many, many computers uh, monitoring the e status at the same time. And also we have designed the uh, switch button like this. This button for change the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi work mode. Uh, you can change the Ethernet is work for cloud server, or Wi-Fi is work for cloud server, or the Ethernet for the local network, or Wi-Fi for the local, local network just set by yourself. You can press the button so easily to configure. And this is the LD indicator. This LD indicator will tell you which module, Wi-Fi and Ethernet, in which work mode. So it, it will be displayed on this LD. And uh, also we have uh, improved the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet solution. So. Uh, use COLP, you cannot need to use the VCon software to configure the network setting again. Uh, like the older version, you need to run a Windows program, the VCon, to configure all the settings. So this time, you just open your network browser, open web website, just uh, like use the root, uh, open the website, uh, set for Wi Fi and set the internet, set for all network settings only by the website is okay. Okay, this is for the communication improvement. And also we have improvement the digital input uh, for the long distance. You can see I have this uh, sw switch panel. This is other switch panel. Or oh, other di digital input sensor, just uh, you like the dry note, the dry contact uh, device, you can connect to the digital input so this distance will be very long at this time. We extend the distance to one kilometer. I think one kilometer is enough for you to use. So this point to this point uh, max one kilometer by C85 network cable. So it's very, very, very long. This is a PCB board. Uh, this is a COL version. This is a COLB. And we have redesign uh, this one and this IC is uh, for extend the digital input for one kilometer uh, long distance. And also we have 
at the Wi-Fi uh, wi module. And the Ethernet solution we have changed. So uh, this board, new board, will configure all network settings by the web page. And uh, this is need the Windows program to configure. Uh, and the new version never use Windows VCOM program to configure again. This is blue color. This is serial new version. You can see, you can install on the dim rail. Okay. And uh, this video, I have tell you, this is the new version of the serial B. And later, I will make some video toys about how to create and how to program uh, in the open source plant for to get the capture the data sensor and send it to your own color server. Thanks for watching.